Hello everyone, in this video let us uh, create a script to retrieve the value of a custom field and also to update it and not just any kind of field, we will be using a text field. So in this video, I will uh, write a script to simply fetch the value from a custom field in Jira. And this is a very common requirement when you're working with Jira, of course, you will be using custom fields and also the system fields. But in this video, I will talk about retrieving the value from a text field in Jira. So this is the script. This script is pretty much straightforward if you try to read this. Uh, and uh, in this particular uh, script, we will be working on this issue called Android 120, uh, Android iPhone 126. So to, to retrieve the value from any custom field, what you need to do, you need to use uh, <clears throat> basically these three, three lines, uh, where the most important line is uh, the, uh, is the second line where we need to pass the custom field ID. And this custom field ID can be uh, I mean, you can find this if you go to the custom field section of your uh, of your Jira admin section. So if you are under, I'll probably go to the top. So if you go to your Jira admin, Jira administration on top, and if you go to the issues section, uh, you can then click on the custom fields here. And uh, the field that I'm using right now is called as uh, text field. It is a quite straightforward name. And uh, if you click on the edit option here, you will uh, be able to figure out the ID, the custom field ID that uh, is also visible in the URL on top uh, of your browser. So you can use this custom field ID or you can also fetch in the uh, custom field object using the name of the custom field. So there are pros and cons uh, in both the options, both the approaches. If you're using custom field ID, then it can cause some issues if you are trying to move the script to a different instance of Jira. Uh, if you're using custom field name, then you need to, of course, make sure that your names don't clash. But in any case, if you are able to fetch the custom field object, um, then you can also use this function or method called as get custom field value and you can pass uh, pass your uh, custom field object and you will be able to retrieve the uh, the value of the field and right now of course we are talking about uh, the text field and the well the, the way to the way to retrieve this uh, this value uh, irrespective of the type should be same in my opinion based on my experience because you are just retrieving the value so if you run this piece of code, it should return you the the value that is stored in your issue, which is my text field here. So, so my current value is, this is my text field. Let me just remove everything. And uh, if I go back to my console and I now want to update something. So for updating the, the value, uh, I want to basically replace so the way you do it is uh, using uh, this method called as update value and you need to pass on basically you need to pass few things here the most important thing is of course the issue which is your uh, issue object and then you need to specify the value that is uh, changing uh, so you're changing the uh, the old value which is uh, uh, stored in this variable called uh, c field value I'll prob probably comment out my uh, return statement. And then you need, you need to specify the new value that you want to basically update. And you need to use this method called as update value. There is also a similar method called as set uh, value, but that won't work because it won't really save the value in the database. So when you, are, uh, when you update this particular piece of code with these two lines, uh, you will be able to also set or update the value. So let us try this code and uh, don't worry about the code, I'll uh, share it. So this particular code will probably not return any, uh, return anything. Uh, and you can of course go to the Atlassian uh, docs uh, 
basically to understand uh, whether there is anything that will be returned or not but uh, if you take a look at the issue itself hopefully it will update something and uh, we were trying to update a simple text message uh, life is great and let us see if it works or not so yes we can see here that our text field is now updated with uh, this new new string that we have mentioned that we have used in the piece of code and uh, it is a very simple example but again if you have been following my videos i'm sure uh, uh, you must have realized by now that I'm using very simple examples because I think understanding these uh, th simple things uh, and knowing how to do these uh, very fundamental basic things will help you a lot.